since the first stone was laid for the Prophet's mosque. A relationship between the mosque and the community has been created. This relationship differs in terms of its philosophy from the rest of the places of worship in other religions. The mosque in Islam is not just a house of worship, but an important community center in the lives of the surrounding community members. This superior philosophy is what the community mosques in Mali express, which are architecturally related to society and individuals. Even the architectural facades are almost the people. This mosque is a relation of appartenance. The community of Guinea is environ lié à cette mosquée par le, les, les, les éléments religieux, et notamment euh, la prière, qui les lit tous, et ensuite toutes activités comme le Mauloud et d'autres événements liés à la mosquée. Donc c'est tous ces événements qui créent un lien euh, fort entre la communauté et la mosquée. Jingu Riber Mosque is one of these unique architectural archetypes. It is located on the southern edge of the historic city of Timbuktu. The mosque was built in 1325 AD by the Andalusian architect Abu Ishaq. The mosque was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. It was associated with irregular squares, streets and courtyards which surround it on all four sides. Although it appears to be a standalone building, it has the features and nature of walled tower architecture. However, it is responsive and in harmony with the surrounding squares, which requires flexibility in the natural movement of pedestrians, visitors, and worshippers, especially in Friday prayer. The internal relations of the mosque are characterized by great diversity which makes the visual and spatial experience of the mosque very rich. It appears in the structural composition of the mosque from the inside, what looks like layers, transporting the visitor and the worshipper from the outer public space into the courtyard of the mosque, and from there to the covered interior. Jingariber Mosque was built of mud and glass brick. Continuous maintenance has been carried out contributed to the preservation of this distinguished urbanization. C'est la communauté de Cotis pour payer de l'argent et avec des gens de bonne volonté qui sont là et qui nous aident à faire le crépissage de, de, de la mosquée. Chacun travaille pour soi, chacun travaille pour Dieu. C'est ce qui fait même la beauté de ce travail qui est gratuit et Chacun est fier de le faire sans compter sur une récompense. La seule récompense, elle est divine. There too, near the Jengariber Mosque, Sankur Mosque is located. Both share their structural nature and their social philosophy. Architectural character of community mosques in Mali, which is created by the used natural materials that make mosques appear as if they were products of earth getting out of it and returning back to it. Architectural formations of the Sankur Mosque have a horizontal character, while the block of the mud minaret stands out like a ceremonial landmark, where mud is mixed with wood. The horizontal projection of the mosque, the horizontal projection of the mosque shows the arrangement of prayer rows in a rectangular shape towards the Qibla, where the inner pillars extend and look like holes in the walls, but not what pillars usually look like. Moving 500 kilometers to the northeast, to one of the wonders of Africa and one of the most remarkable religious buildings in the world, the Great Mosque in Jenne. It is the largest structure built of mud in the world, cette corporation des maçons, euh, que moi je ne dirais même plus maçon, je dirais des architectes, parce que c'est des gens qui ont une certaine maîtrise, un savoir, 
Cette mosquée a été créée sans un bic, sans un crayon et sans un papier. Donc c'est sorti de leur tête, c'est ce qui fait de, de véritables architectes. Et ils sont fiers aussi, ils sont liés par cette mosquée et toutes les autres communautés vivant à Djenné et aux alentours de Djenné. The Great Mosque of Djenné is in the middle of the urban architectural fabric. It seems to dominate the structure of the city. Because of its middle location and position, the roads flowed around and towards it, and the squares surround it in different shapes and sizes. The outer gate represents an architectural divider between the outer and the inner space of the mosque. It reflects a religious and social indication. That passing through the outer gate gives a feeling of equality among all people. Everyone passes through the gate and goes up the stairs, regardless of his social position. The arches separating the inner rows of pillars and the natural earthy color, with the reflection of natural light infiltrating the interior, and the interior floors covered with a simple mat. All of them are recreating the interior scene and reproducing the simple scene in which social customs overlap with the behaviors of local communities. Community mosques in Mali rearrange the relationship between the environment, the nature, and the climate, achieving important functional aspects of the surrounding communities to bring to mind the real rule of mosques. In creating visual and sensory contact with the surrounding communities, in a simple way, sublimes with the soul to fly away.